Okay, we're back with Chrono Trigger. Last time I played this, we had a pretty um, extensive Chrono Trigger session. Today, however, will be a smaller one in comparison. But we are at maybe one of my favorite parts of the whole game. So if you've been keeping up with the story, the last thing that happened was we went from a snowy hellscape up to a place floating in the sky. And yes, this was a huge shock to the system when I first played this. How could it not be? Welcome to Anhasa in the magical kingdom of Zeal. We find truth in the bliss of sleep. Dear me, who might you be? Sorry I set your book on fire. This is the eternal kingdom of Zeal where dreams can come true. But at what price? Does that look familiar at all? It's strange visitors, welcome to Zeal. Is this part of a dream? Queen Zeal rules our magical kingdom. She is without peer in beauty and greatness. The queen has given us everything. After the king died, she nurtured magic, which has advanced the kingdom. I am a butter am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Or a bowling ball dreaming I'm a plate of sashimi? Never assume that what you see and feel is real. Are you a man? You're like an alien, but alright. You believe in fate, which means our lives are all predetermined. I don't have time for this. Ah. <laughs> oh. I didn't realize that you get no dialogue if you say that. Well, we get the bad ending now. Those numbers were part of the, the story. It's crazy how those numbers come up in the game. Let's see, maybe, maybe we can chat with this fellow again. Played a shrimp. Oh yeah. Um, yes, of course I believe in fate. So, you're a believer. Yes, it is useless for us to fight destiny. Do you believe in fate? No such thing. You're right, we're the masters of our own destinies. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny somewhere around here. This strange doll sitting on a bed has no convictions. Truth. Existed dreams. Herbal tea. Crystals. The city of Kajar, where they study magic, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship Blackbird is kept there. The Queen has sealed the elemental weapons in the North Palace. You can see its entrance on the Northern Continent, but no one is allowed there. These people invented horoscopes and crystal head vodka. They did, yeah. They all live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn now, it's true. I'm Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge. Each in turn. The door to the North Palace is sealed with a mysterious energy. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, can't open it. Welcome. What can I do for you? You don't have a robot arm, do you? This place I would actually... Like... Understand if they had a robot arm. Hey, what's wrong? You have something to say? How may I help you? Black wind howls. One among you shortly perish. It, is it true? What are their percentages? Hey, explain yourself! 
Why did he say such a thing? It's only a mad joke. It, it's unscientific. If you have Frog in your party, he's like, You little creep! This is a spring of recovery. Heal your mind and body here. I wonder what's inside the North Palace. I bet there's a key to it in the palace. But entry is strictly forbidden. The Queen's Palace is at the center of zeal. From there, she protects the entire world. That's why we can sleep our days away. So there's a secret here, chat. You find out the order a little bit later, but if you know the order, you can just do the thing. The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief, at least for now. And now, we have a new emote in chat. The guru of reason is gone. Challenge me? Okay, here we go. That actually works pretty well. Again, these, um, these new enemies, they do either... Okay, they do either one damage, or all of your damage, but one. Yep, Chrono's dead. Yep, Luke is dead. Nope! Yep, Luke is dead. Oh no. I don't think I ever got a game over here. Stranger things have happened. Come on, Robo, you can live. No! No! <sighs> oh, no! God. Yeah, Falcon Strike is the best move for this fight, and uh, I don't have Ayla with me, so usually I have Ayla with me at this point in the game. Alright, we're good for a little bit. This is like, uh, I brought these characters here for story reasons. I just thought it would be fun to try different characters for different dialogue. Chrono. Okay, you bastard. This is, uh, bad. This is bad. Ah! No! Use it! Yeah, use it! Use it! Use the napalm! Use the napalm! Damn it! Oh, I was hoping that would kill. They have one, two, three, four health. We, we, I think this is the hardest fight in the game at the moment. Okay, now it's not, not that bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we got it. Crazy. 90 tech points, by the way. You're strong. Take this. tab all those tech points lost on Luca I use Luca from time to time I like um, even if she's like underpowered in some ways I, I like using her but yeah that weird child with the cat who's that it's weird just some bozo But yeah, I mean, if I could choose to live anywhere in video game universe, it might very well be where we just were. <laughs> Specifically the place where you just sleep. All three buildings. Yeah, I mean, you know how RPGs are, though. They, they show you three buildings, but there's like, there's more than that. Who are you guys? Everything okay with the Blackbird? Everything's A-OK, -okay, Sir Dalton! Of course it is, you idiot! Hey you, what are you doing there? Ah, it was true then. You're the ones the Prophet said would come and cause trouble. Let's see how you handle this little situation. I didn't think they'd make it so easy on me. Blackbird's a symbol of how advanced Zeal's culture is. Never thought something so big could fly, huh? I think Dalton looks like Gigachat. This is the magical city of Kajar. We do experiments for the Queen. Your power differs from ours. I, in you I sense a strange aura of kindness. Combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create incredible weapons and items. But now only the guru of life has the skill. Elemental power usage is forbidden. Ah, so plants are plants are so content. I wish I could be too. But you're still hungry. That's the sun keep you see on the southern continent. The sunstone, once the source of this world's power, was kept there. But when we began using our new energy source, it was sealed up just like the North Palace. They claim we don't need it, uh, the energy of this tired old planet. Because there's a new energy source. These? His only friend other than his sister is that stupid cat. What tempest rages in his head? He's been seeing a lot of Janice lately. He appears upset and paces around. Queen Zeal has two heirs, Shala and Janus. Shala is an incredible child who has extraordinary magical powers. Being so gifted, she'll breeze through life. Secret. Just found some speed. I'm working on a tab that will boost magical skill, but my precious products have been disappearing lately. Must be the naughty new that hid them. They love pranks. What can I do? Oops, that's a defective item. Too bad, huh? Haha. Uh -huh. This is- no, this is the only time where new and humans, like, coexist, and everyone's just fine with it. I heard a strange prophet has come to this palace. 
I don't know the details, but I heard he has uncanny powers. They're, they're pretty rare otherwise in the world. Weren't they already? Um... In prehistory, there's they're hidden. In the future, there's just the one that I'm aware of. Zeal's advances stem from a new energy source. Its power surpasses that of the element elements. Not elementals. The gurus of life, time, and reason will live in Zeal. Their skill and knowledge is supreme. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. That's how you learn about the books. The guru once told me that the sunstone could store the almost infinite energy of our sun. But if its energy were used up, it would lose its glow and change into a moonstone. Did you know a moonstone can be recharged if you leave it in the sun? But it takes eons. So it's unlikely for us to see that gorgeous glow again. Are you the reason why they are scarce? I've killed a number of new. Queen Zeal has two heirs, Shala and Janus. Shala's an incredible child who has extraordinary magical powers. Being so gifted, she'll breeze through life. Oh, we read that already. Sorry. Construction of the Ocean Palace is behind schedule. Eternal Palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's done. Indeed. That great aeroplane, Blackbird, which Balthazar built. When it soars into the sky, it looks alive. Balthazar is truly a genius. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the palace. Though, so they do have a purpose, after all. The Ocean Palace lies deep beneath the waves. It's a symbol of the Queen's power. The palace is the source of light, which sustains all living things. Queen Zeal the Great. So yeah, they found an energy source. They were using the sun, and then they found something else. Hi, you have an unusual aura, so you must possess the skill too. Must be very primitive compared to ours. You poor things. How do we come by our skills? Why do others lack them? Who cares? Those lacking magic always live beneath the clouds as the earthbound ones. After all, they lack what we have. Oops. But yeah, the the fucking new are just totally like a part of the culture here in Zeal. I've got load shields, but I cannot sell them unless the queen says it's okay. It's always a weird thing to, for me to think about. You've got shields, but there's no shields in this game. You found something strange. That was a pitch down Kefka left. But a black rock is inside. Frog has a shield in the cutscenes. That is true. It all began eons ago, when man's ancestors picked up a shard of a strange red rock. Its power, which was beyond human comprehension, cultivated dreams. In turn, love and hate were born. Only time will see how it all ends. I kind of feel like there might be a slight mistranslation going on there. Not entirely. I feel like the the essence of the state of whatever was going on there is captured to a degree, but I feel like there's um when Lavos fell to the planet, it almost inspired like evolution, is my kind of theory. I mean, there's there's some stuff to back that up, and we can talk about that later when the when the spoilers aren't so bad. But, I mean, there's already love and hate. For example, Kino loves Ayla, hates Chrono. Well, it's not a theory, actually, the, the stuff with Lavos, but we'll get to that when we get to it. We'll, 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 we'll delve into the story details. 
This is the Queen's Palace, the center of Zeal Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. I said this probably four years ago, but these people are extremely hubristic. The source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that its exact location has been found, the o Ocean Palace will be built. Use the Queen's Hall to get to the Ocean Palace, which is under construction. What, what could go wrong? I mean, ominous music? Could you scratch my back? Um, thanks. Oh, you got it. Whew! Whew, thank you! You discovered the new scratch point. I can see there's confused chat members. Once again, who here has never played or seen this game? It seems like there's a lot of responses. Of course, some of these responses could be... chat just making stuff up, but... I'm gonna say that at least half of them... are possibly real. So why did I come back here, you may wonder. It is because... Melbert! We've learned the, the new scratch point. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Whoa! Scratch, scratch. Tee-hee! <laughs> you found a magic tab. Oh, I don't think you get anything else for scratching the new twice. You get the satisfaction of knowing that you made a strange blue lizard kind of thing, a slimy weird tadpole kind of creature, feel really good. Hang on a second. My headphones were a little weird. I do love the way this place looks. I mean, again, 1995. Really, like, Square knew the SNES inside and out at this point. Mostly. That man's a newcomer, but his accurate prophecies earn the Queen's trust. He's a drifter. He's not one of us enlightened ones. Nor the Earthbound ones, either. Hmm. So, the song on Realign, I Don't Mean to Complain, uses that tambourine noise. The same sample from this game. Um, not the exact same. It's mixed differently, but it's, it's similar. So. Because that's kind of what I heard. Like, I had that in mind when I was... Um, composing the thing, and then later I'm like, well, I should just use the original Chrono Trigger sound. And I did, and it worked. It's, lo it's low in the mix, it's not like massively in the mix. The Queen's two heirs, Shala and Janice, get along so well. Only Janice would open up to others. A pendant of yours. It looks like Shala's, but it doesn't glow. Ask the Queen or the Gurus if you want to know about the Mammon Machine and the Ocean Palace, but just between us, she'll probably... won't give you the time of day. Do you know that Balthazar, the Guru of Reason, has secret rooms in Inhasa and Kajar? Yes. The Queen's aide, Dalton, was in charge of the Ocean Palace until some traveling prophet took over. He's in a bad mood, so you should avoid him. Completion of the Ocean Palace will allow zeal to last forever, and there will be no fear or sadness, just eternal peace.
The queen must have borne pain and sorrow and silence. No pain, no gain. Zeal too was born out of much sacrifice and work. This will take you to the bedroom. Shala. Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? The black wind. You feel it too? Don't worry, it'll be alright. Now, hold on to this. What is it? It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. I wish I could be with you, always. But Mother has other plans. She's not our mother! She looks like Mother, but inside she's changed. Still, I can't, Janice. I'm sorry. Excuse me, Highness. Oh, that's a... The Queen asks for your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Alright. Well, Janice, I'll be going. Oh? Who might you be? Miss Shala, please hurry. If you're late, I'll be punished. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. Go away. It's another great song. Basically, any of the songs in Zeal are the best songs in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Fun fact, there's a dungeon hidden behind the bookcase. Are you talking about the cut the, uh, content dungeon? Yeah. Too bad that track only plays like twice in-game. Yeah, it's such a good song and it's, yeah, it's only a couple times. Shala's pendant was made from the same red rock as the Mammon machine. And she chants, the pendant glows. I want to be the wind, Massa. Oh, you will someday. Big sister Doreen's at Inhasa again. Yeah, that's because she's like, she likes dreams. I like the wind better. Whoosh. This is them. Wonder how old man Melchior is. Humans are so odd. This leads to the hall of the Mammon machine. Even Belthazar is gone after designing the Blackbird in the Ocean Palace. How strange that the three gurus who guide Zeal have all disappeared. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He's making Chrono Trigger? <laughs> Title! Or Time Egg or something. But no one has seen him for ages. We got the title drop. The Prophet's aura is full of hatred and sorrow. He'll destroy himself and those he loves. Beyond is the Hall of the Mammon Machine. The incredible energy of Lavos pervades it. The Mammon Machine, and you came to see it? Yes, I thought so. Feel the flow of the mighty Lavos' power. Ooh, I feel faint. So, they are literally harvesting Lavos' power using this machine. So the scene going from Lavos burrowing deep underground, switching immediately to Zeal, explains a couple things. This is the source of Zeal's strength, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the infinite power of Lavos. If the Mammon Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The ultimate dream of eternal youth and life is now possible. Oh, Almighty Queen, our kingdom of Zeal will reign forever. When the Mammon Machine was finished, the Queen changed almost overnight. 
Just between us, I heard that anyone who opposes her, not just the Earthbound ones, vanish. Melchior, who opposed the Queen's plans, is vanished. You're not thinking what I am, are you? The three gurus made the mammon machine from the royal family's red rock. Melchior, who has studied much about Lavos, was in charge of the plans. Then he disappeared. Magic strong enough to control the extraction of energy is needed to control the mammon machine. So they're milking Lavos with the mammary machine. That's what you got from that, huh? This connects to the Queen's Hall. The Earth is alive, and it has changed over the eons. From flatlands into mountains, from mountains into oceans. You may find the way. That is, if you could pass eons of time, the Forbidden Palace, or the Sun Keep. What I find interesting is that these new have been around since the beginning, 65 million years ago. They are in the future. They're, the, they're at the end of time, even. Well, one of them. Like, we don't know what they are. We don't know where they came from. Why are they working? That's what I want to know. What are they doing here actually working so that tourists can find out where they're going? They're bored, Vinny? I think they're blueberries. They have a mor mortgage? Oh. No one may enter while the queen is away at the Ocean Palace. Your pendant! It looks just like Shala's! I heard that when Shala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant starts to glow. To open the door from outside, an item like Shala's pendant is needed to break the seal. This door has a strong defense mechanism. Hmm, there's something to this pendant. Note, these are the doors that you see in the future that you can't open. Rarest ending accessible now? Which one? You know what? Don't spoil it, but sure. There's like so many different points in this game where if you kill Lavos, you get a different ending, so I believe it is rare. There doesn't seem to be any new beyond 1999 AD. The thing in the future isn't called a new, but a mysterious creature. I mean, it looks exactly like a new. And now that ending is cut off. Oh, really? So you have to finish the game after going to the door, but before charging up the pendant? That is very interesting. Also, I'm changing out this party. I'm not changing out this party. No one may enter while the queen is away at the Ocean Palace. Oh, there's a good reason for that. Actually, they block your path. I just wanted to save. I'm gonna go Frog Ayla team. We need our, um, we need our strength. You really want a water spell for, for the next boss, so that's gonna be Frog. Dactyl has been gived. Ayla, go. No fear, Chrono. What doth challenge us now? Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, they are the evil doers I warned you of. How dare you think you could oppose me, you foreigners? You are worse than the gurus. Fools! Dalton, take them away. Yes, ma'am. By your leave. Gollum.
Ja. Yeah, you can win this fight. There are many who feel this is a scripted loss fight. But if you just keep using this move, it's not too bad. You can lose this? Yeah, if you lose this, you don't... And the game doesn't end. Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh, wait, no, we're good. Just keep doing that. Ayla can keep kissing. Kissing frogs. Healing. The biggest secret to winning is to avoid physical moves at all costs. Yes, water moves only, and it, the fight is a joke. Someone said, why does Ayla have bouncing titties? Well, you see, over a certain amount of mass in the chestal region, titties tend to bounce. I get what chat member's saying, though, because I, I get, sometimes I'm, like, not prepared. I, like, I'm playing a video game, and I see that, and it's, like, pixels. I'm like, oh, that was unexpected. Like, the other night in Sunday stream, there was that, that anime game. And it had, there was some, like, jiggle physics. I say jiggle physics, but they just it was just animated as such. And it caught me off guard because I didn't expect it from that. So I get why chat members might be like, why that happened? There is a reference. Someone posted the clip. Yeah. Is there anything that happens if you win this fight? I think you just get some... Well, you... this... we just won the fight, so... I think you get experience and tech points. Story-wise, I don't think anything. A thousand experience, 35 tech points. That's not bad. My poor golem. That was inexcusable. <laughs> Fear not. You won't die, immediately, that is. But by the time we're through with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion. Step inside the triangle. Huh. Idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. We just might be able to rescue the gurus. Are you alright? Quickly, escape from the palace. And if you can, please rescue Melchior. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that, Star Fox. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. Stop. Okay, I'll spare them. But in return, you will cooperate, Shala. Now, show me how you came here. Who is that blue-haired prophet? No one knows. Hmm. So you came in through here. Purple attire. Blue hair. 
Just some weirdo. Now, Shala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. N no, you can't make me. Obey me. Their lives are at stake. What? Oh, all right. Give me. You know what this reminds me of? Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Goon. Because it's a prism, kinda, and it's like in a cave. What do you mean that was bad? Bobby, this, uh, that wasn't bad, Bobby. Bobby, 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 Bobby. That wasn't bad. It's true. He hath spared us. But something is amiss. They take energy from Lavos. Lavos not get weak? Thou hast seen elsewhere the crest on the doors that the pendant opens, correct? A curious crest is engraved here. Some unknown power keeps it sealed. I'm sure they toyed around with not showing that cutscene. But people got probably very, very lost. Tis time to depart, eh, Chrono? Does this count as yellow paint? <laughs> Bobby! I like the ju juxtaposition between frogs thou speak, thee thou speak, and Ayla's unga. Me too, yeah. They're a good team. Because Chrono says nothing. Ayla just shouts everything, and Frog is all, like, proper. By the way, Frog, uh, when he was Glenn, did not have an accent. So, my theory... I mean, uh, you know, this is in this translation, this version only, but... My theory is that Magus also gave him, like, brain damage. <laughs> Like, you know the people that get into car accidents and then they wake up speaking Spanish? Alright, maybe th there needs to be some context about that one, but... No? You don't know? Okay. Aha, so you've been to the Land of Magic. Now that the Pillar of Light is sealed, you'll be needing something that will transport you through time. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. I'm afraid he became a tad psychotic, spending so much of his time doing research. You don't wake up speaking Spanish, you wake up with a Spanish accent. Oh yeah, same thing. Alright, sweetheart, unfortunately you were born before magic existed. But you seem to have other skills that'll get you by. Ayla no need magic. Ayla bite. Oh, that doesn't work. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Ayla. Self.
bad team. Okay, you can win this one. I'm fine with that. We need to bring... I don't know. See, you do need me. I'm gonna bring Marl. <laughs> it's playing Luca's victory music and I didn't bring her. <laughs> I'll get out of here. <laughs> She's written very, like, matter of fact and blunt. Well, they do have icy water, and Chrono has lightning, so that might be okay. Or just ice water. It's okay. Best on the boardwalk. Come get your ice water here at Chrono's Emporium. I see the butt Marl emote has returned. Butt Marl has returned, yes. Well, again, the official, I swear, the official response was that it violated the Gasm policy. <laughs> Now, it doesn't say Gasm policy, but I know what they're getting at. It's a policy where you can't post Gasm-style emotes. That's what it says. That's pretty much... Yeah, that's what it says. Gasm-style emotes. I'm gonna go for broke chat. Got it. Uh, that was most embarrassing. Huh. I'll make a habit out of this. Here, this is for you. Gasmic.
So the other, um, the other part where the other gate is, we don't have that right now. Do a little racing. I forget when you unlock the ability to um, move the camera around during this fight. I mean, hey, listen, as dystopian as this fight is, Johnny seems to be thriving. It's not dystopian, it's post-apocalyptic. Oops. No, I was showing... Chad, I was trying to show off my secret technique. What, losing? No, 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 no. Watch this. Secret technique. I'll show you the secret technique. <laughs> it's, no, I'm not trying to get Johnny pregnant. I'm trying to <laughs> do the secret technique. Pulled out too early. I'll show you. Let's try again. See, last time it was too late. That time it was too early. This time it'll be just right. Secret technique. Almost. Almost there. That's the secret technique. I think I lost like a hundred viewers for that. Maybe two hundred? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back this way. No. Not yet. Not yet. At some point, you wanna... well... There's some stuff you can get. We're gonna get that stuff. There's really good items. Hey fellas, look! The seed sprouted! I haven't given up. This child and seed are still growing. Since you've come, we've gained the courage to live. Hey, it's those people again. I wonder what kind of fruit this thing is going to bear. Reach the continent to the south. So here's the thing. How are they... Do they have enough water for that? Where are they getting, like, the clean water from? Let's not- you know what? Let them have it, chat. Let them have it. Let, why, do, why do I have to piss on their fucking slightest glimmer of hope?
the lizard begins to glow, as the pendant begins to glow. Gold earring. Max HP up by 50%. You know what that means? That means a party member is just not going to die. Well, they will, but not that easily. I'll give it to Marl. She could use the health. Also, this robe is really good, too. This game does depresso and hopeless music really well. I wonder if Mitsuda was feeling this when up against the deadline to get the soundtrack done. I mean, even the bass line is, like, melodic in its own weird way. I just said, didn't Kojima make this? He did. Genius Kojumbo made this. Metal Gear Solid, Legend of Zelda. Escape from New York. He made, yeah, David Bowie. He made him. Who did a better job destroying the world, Kefka or Lavos? Oh, that's a really good question. I don't know if I can answer that. I'm gonna say... This future is so fucked... That... There really isn't any hope. Whereas in uh, Final Fantasy VI, the world is destroyed, people have died. It's pretty bad. But, there's still, there's still hope. Like, there's still a lot of characters around. And when you do defeat Kafka, you can get things somewhat back to normal-ish. This is, like, so catastrophically terrible. And there's even more story stuff later about, like, what Lavos does. It's not a huge spoiler. So I'll just say it. But yeah, I mean, it's mentioned a couple times, but... When Lavos is done draining all of the life and energy from the planet, it just moves on. And, um... Yeah, I mean... Here's a spoiler. That has no bearing on the story. It's just a fun thing to think about how terrible things are. Um, Lavos has babies. Wallet, full ether, charm top. So, yeah. Yeah, charm power up. So that, it makes the, the, the Bobbertons go up. But yeah, um, so Lavos not only is draining all of the life from the world that he already destroyed, as if this future isn't so fucking depressing, as it is in 2300, he's got babies. And they are literally sucking the life force away, and then we'll shoot off to different planets. This might not even be the only fully grown Lavos, or the original. 
See, that's speculation. That's stuff that no one knows. I like that it's an open question. Never seen anything like this. <sighs> oh, finally got through the ruins. I brought the sapling that sprang from the seed. Amazing what you could do when you think you're going to expire. See, even they have a little plan. I mean, the, all they have is a seed of hope. So, I mean, is it possible they could rebuild or stay, stay alive? I don't know. An old machine that heals you to keep them from dying and starvation and a single seed. They could probably find a way to restore some like generators and technology or something. And if they can continue to grow food, sure, but I mean look at look at the environment. There's no grass, there's no soil. Dying cloud, there ain't no getting off of this train we on. One good thing the future has going for it is sick baselines. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, Genova and Lavos are quite similar. They're both parasitic alien entities and suck planets dry. So that, yeah, that's something that's been discussed. Um, I don't remember exactly what... There was, there was some relation there. And, uh... I don't know exactly what it was, but... I don't know if they tried to do the story for one, and then delayed it for the other one, and then modified it. I mean, this came out several years before, but yes, Genova in Final Fantasy VII also fell to the planet and did some crazy shit. Did Chrono Cross expand on the story at all? Mm. It kind of told its own story using elements from this. It, it expanded it sideways. But in a much more convoluted way. It, it is interesting for its own reasons. There are spoilers involved with discussing Chrono Cross, but it's still kind of its own story. Using, um, Lavos does have a presence in that world. And it takes place on this planet. But it does feel a little shoehorned in some ways. I love Chrono Cross for what it is. I take it as its own kind of... Like Final Fantasy VII and IX are two very different games but they have common elements, I view Chrono Cross like that. But in terms of, like, storytelling, it's nowhere near as tight as this. In terms of... just characters, I feel like a lot of those characters are underwritten, because you can recruit, like, 50 characters in Chrono Cross. Art style's very different, Toriyama's not involved. It's great though. It's got its problems, like many, you know, like many games do, but that one, there's something special about it. The 
The similarities between Lavos and Genova are likely because some Final Fantasy VII staff worked on Chrono, plus Masato Kato also wrote big portions of Seven. That makes sense. Strange creature. It's a new... Come on. The professor's programming was, in a sense, his own eulogy. Soon, I too will be able to sleep forever. But first, there is one thing I must do. Program error. My memory banks have failed. Professor, not here. It's not a new, it's a robot new. It, okay, it is possible. But yeah, it's just a robot new. Okay, fair enough, I'll buy that for a dollar. Huh? To those who open the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. Great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. My surprise, Lavos exists here, and uh, I suspect in other periods as well. Eons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate like a giant parasite is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old. And it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times. So before I lose it all completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home. I've grown frail. So you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there. My last invention. My wings of time. This moves through time? Wow, this is amazing. H how do you tell the front from the back? <laughs> I bet Luca would love this thing. This is the- yes, yes. You found- yes, butt Marl is the back, exactly. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. Copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, here's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Fourth wall break, fourth wall break. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before you go, why don't you... Name my time machine. Up aboard. When I first played this, my cousin named it the Kurt One. Very 1995. No. I mean, new.
Could just go to the apocalypse. That's always fun. What's happening? Awesome! The puck's capable of this? Certain. No. I can't quite relay the feeling as a ten year old, eleven year old, however, however old I was at the time, ten or eleven. And like going there. I, it was just, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty scary. I was very scared. I was a scared child. <laughs> this game scared me. The heartbeat especially got me. There's a reason I'm here right now. I forget where it was exactly, but there are some treasure chests you can open now. Nope. No. Trust me on this one, chat. So if you don't know this game, these treasure chests with that seal, the Mammon Machine seal, you apply the pendant to them, and then you you leave them. You don't open them. Because if you think about it, you're exposing the items to the power of Lavos with the pendant for an extra 400 years, and then they get stronger. There's one in the cave to Magus. Oh yeah, that's right. White vest powered up, received white mail. Black mail. <laughs> They're really, really good pieces of armor, by the way. It actually absorbs lightning hits. So now Chrono, if he gets hit with lightning, he gets health. The other crazy thing is, for those that don't know, once you get them in the future, you can go back in time and get them again in their pre-powered up form. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of treasure chests like that. Yeah, it's, it's a good... It's a good old paradox. Now, these aren't as good, but they're still pretty good. So 
So, Magus's cave also has one? Isn't there one in the Hecran cave? Wait, is it Magus's cave, or is it just Hecran? Oh yeah, it is. You can't power that one up. Yes to both, right, okay. So, what's that? What did I just get? I got a ring. Magic ring. What ring did I get, chat? Was it the hit ring? Magic ring, sorry. Um, magic plus six? That's good. It's definitely good. One in a thousand AD, Guardia Forest as well, yeah. Best way to get these items is to, uh... So yeah, you just park here at the, uh, at the end of time. Interesting. So he actually finished the Wings of Time. In fact, gave his life for it. Why not put that device to good use? Take it to the ancient land of magic. Still not eating that cake. Oh yeah, by the way, check this out. We already changed the past, and the present, rather. That's not Magus. Hut, Sir Ozzy! Hut! Oh, great Ozzy, Ozzy the Great. Ozzy fills our days and nights with joy. <laughs> so we defeated Magus, and now they're worshipping Ozzy. <laughs> it's great. Another thing we could do is this, right? This is, this is now. I forgot about this. So there's a number of things. Um, you can get a lot of really good items for this next part of the game. If you're just a little patient. A torch comes from the pendant. Someone said, I can see now why this game is your favorite. This is amazing. I wish I had the luxury to have grown up with this game. I think this and the last stream I did of this have been showing people why I love the game so much. seal has been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Choose, choose, choose whichever you feel you need and take it with you. 13,000 years was a long time. Balthazar, I shall see you shortly. Interesting, huh? Are we sure that's not the same new that goes to the future? Well, the right is a sword for Chrono, and it's a, it's a good sword for a while, however... Or maybe he just dies. I said, choo, 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 choo. <laughs> Talk about how this was going to be a dungeon. This was going to be a dungeon. <laughs> The left are helmets that are useful for the whole game. Or a helmet. One helmet. The problem is it looks dumb. But you get physical damage cut in half by one third and a ton of defense. Can't you get more safe helms? By one third? Cut in half by one third. Oh yeah, look at that. Thanks, Ted Woolsey. His name is this name Ted or Tim? I don't remember. Oh wait, that was me. I said that. Wow. I just shit on someone whose fault it was not. 
I'd like to apologize on behalf of Ted Woolsey. <laughs> oh no. Give Chrono the gold stud. He is a gold stud. MP use cut by 75%. I wonder what our old friend Melchior is up to. Nothing new. Same shit. Even though, you know, we, we probably could talk to him about some spoilery shit. Vinny, you almost never use on behalf of correctly. Well, on behalf of the BBC, myself, Jesus Christ, uh, Nikolai Tesla's pigeon, and that burger guy who was in the burger suit, I'd like to apologize for not using on behalf of incorrectly. Wall ring, and there's something else in here. What in the world? Dash ring. Dash ring is great. Especially for Luca. So the wall ring is magic nullifying, if I'm not mistaken. Magic defense plus 10, and this, the dash ring is speed plus 3. When I was making my own RPG, I also did the box, two items in a box trick. Huh? There's another item in there! Earth. Yeah, that was one of them. I have uh, two RPGs I never finished. Of course I didn't finish them, but one was called Chrono Continuum, and I was attempting to um, make a Chrono Trigger sequel, fan game. I only got a total of about 15 minutes of gameplay, and then I gave up. And I had no idea what to do with it, and I used all the default RPG Maker assets. <laughs> but it was fun for a little while. God damn, that shit took forever. Even for 15 minutes of gameplay, you're me. Chrono, how many times have I told you to keep your pets outside? Madame, I am not a pet. Though I am odd of figure, I am a master swordsman. It talks! I, I just thought, I mean, I am terribly sorry, uh, Mr. Toad? Oh, my name is... Yes, dear? Toad will do for now. Goodness, Luca, is this what is, is this one of your inventions? It's probably not the right inflection, but greetings. I am Robo. Chrono is my friend. My, how polite. Strange looking, but well behaved. Chrono, you could learn a thing or two. Gracious, who are you? Me, Ayla. Ayla, a young lady doesn't dress like that, dear. But Ayla like. Say yes, ma'am. Chrono strong. Chrono Mother Strong, too. <laughs> anyway, Ayla, check out my clone. What do you think of that, huh? Hell yeah. Clono.
trying to think if there were other... Oh, yeah, there's, um... Yeah. Some stuff in the Guardia Kingdom Inn. I got... Wait. Guardia Kingdom Inn. Truce Inn. Poor Elders. We got the Poor Elder one. Truce Inn we didn't get. Hang on, there's one in the past, too, right? There's also one in the castle? What, 600 or 1,000? Both. Nice of the game to not put enemies here for a while. Speed tab. That's a pretty basic reward. I wish Secret of the Forest popped up more in this game. Yeah, it's... I agree with that. It's a classic, and it's so underutilized. We destroyed Magus's troops, and we owe it all to Chrono. Chrono, my thanks extend for generations to come! You're alive! Although we did sustain major casualties, we wouldn't have made it without you. Anyway, we must all work together to rebuild the Kingdom of Guardia. I don't know how to thank you. Frog, where's Frog? Frog, so you've teamed up with Chrono and the others. You've done a fine job. Please remain with us as long as you wish. My heart is glad. Thank you, my liege. I mean, we forget that Frog basically completed his character arc. Frog, thanks again. You deserve the title, Knight. Not completely, he didn't know. Actually, that's not true at all. There is still more character arc, but the, the lava, um, the Magus angle is now done. And his, his uh, character arc with the king and queen and him feeling like a failure, that's done. Waste not such precious words on me. Ayla's character arc is done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Robo's got a little bit more. I mean, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, there's, there's some development still. A lot of the development we're going to be seeing is some more minor character stuff, but also... Um, ...tertiary characters, and the world itself, and the world that they created for this game is so interesting that it keeps me engaged, despite some of the characters just kind of saying, like, one-liners from time to time. They all still feel pretty three-dimensional, but... Yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely a couple things I wish were extended a bit. What a great track. What a great fucking track. Um, The Secret of the Forest, even though it's only in the game a couple times, and it is one of the best songs in the game, I think it's to the game's advantage that you hear it so early. I feel like that really helps build some of the mystique of the game and draws you into the world a little bit. Oh, you're just in time. Cabin suit. 
my finest work, the ultimate in defense for my daughter. Give me the suit, and I'm gonna leave. Speed plus three, fire guard up. There, yeah, there's an unnecessary comma in there. Do you have a favorite music track in this? That's almost impossible for me. Zeal is really good, Quarters of Time. There's the Ocean Palace music. There's the Tirano layer. There's the ending. Um... Man. There's the Medina music, which I really, really like. It's not maybe my favorite, but it's close. There's this. There's at least... I, I Listen, if I had to choose, I would still do like a 10-way tie. It's the same for the Chrono Cross soundtrack. I don't, I don't know if I could choose um, easily. What do you think of the Singing Mountain theme? Um, it's a little weak. It's fine. It was cut. Terrorists? Who? What terrorists? I used the Battle 2 theme. There's a, another battle theme that I thought was pretty good, but it was cut from the game. Oh wait, what did I do? I don't think we can go in here now, right? Princess Nadia. Worried, Princess. I understand your pain, but the king really only cares about his realm. Yes, even when your mother, Queen Eliza, passed away, he worked all day. No one could do that. It's inhuman. Oh, child, it's ancient history now. Tell me more. This may be difficult. Well, Queen Eliza's condition suddenly changed for the worst. She desperately wanted to see the king one last time, but he couldn't find the time to drop by. He said he had some work to do. But knowing nothing about death, you waited faithfully by your mother's side. Elisa passed away in sorrow. It's as if the king indirectly killed her. Such a shame. What? Father killed? My mother? Oh, but what do I know? There are reasons for everything, right, dear? Now, oh, so glad to see you back again. Please go and visit the king. Oh, Nadia. What do you want? I'm not giving in to your demands. It's your fault for leaving the castle and... Letting these hoodlums in here. You might as well beg for bread on the street corner. Stop it, they're my friends. You're a disgrace to this family. Father, you... You... Care more about your country than me or mother. What? You killed mother! Get out of here this instant! I never want to see your face again! Good riddance! We're no longer family. Do as you wish. Who is that frog? Oh, woe is me. Screaming Marl emote? Is Marl now like, like an, a mascot? Marl has become a stream mascot, and she's like one of my least favorite characters in the game. I don't mean that in a bad way, like, but when you have a, a cast of characters like a talking frog, a robot, a cave woman who do snoo snoo. Um, an inventor girl who is amazing and funny. 
you know, other characters. Like, Marl is probably... Uh, Chrono is the player. Chrono is not a character in a lot of ways. He's Goku. I'm in charge of her discipline. She's missed almost every lesson this year. There are a lot of things I like about Marl, and some of them haven't happened yet, but I think she's great. But in terms of the, the main cast, it's just such a great cast, and then, you know, Marl. But I'm more than happy to, um... I'm, I'm actually more than happy to... This is the first time I think you can free roam in this castle. I'm more than happy to have her as a mascot for the stream. She's got amazing expressions, and she smacks her butt. <laughs> She's funny. I would say Marl is almost the comic relief in this game in a lot of ways, and it doesn't... There's plenty of comic relief, but... I'm your lawyer, Pierre. The king's been so gloomy since Princess Naughty's disappearance. Listening to my story is concluded that was it was not a kidnapping. It's taken time, but I think he understands. Still, the Chancellor's acting weird. He may give us some trouble. The Chancellor hired all those soldiers that work in the jail. Of course he did. Those uh, ghouls. Those jail guardians were an odd bunch. We got cold stares from them. It's like they weren't even human. Chancellor lost it right around the time he ordered that dragon tank to be built. Oh. Can never get back there. Have you ever wanted to make a VGM cover album of Chrono Trigger music? I don't find as much joy in covering music as I do writing. The most I would do with covers is maybe a live performance of a song I like, which I did a couple times in the past. We covered a Wilco song as Red Vox. As my old band, we covered The Who, uh, Floyd, of course. Um, Weezer <laughs> covered Hash Pipe. <laughs> You should read the lyrics to Hashpipe. What about Fleet Mac Fleetwood's The Chain? <laughs> Mac Fleetwood's The Chain. I do love that song. I love Fleetwood Mac, but I don't think I could do justice to any of that stuff. Would you ever cover the sound of a falling pipe? I have many times. So I think that's it for stuff I can get now, right? Cabin suit, cabin helm. Um, maybe red? This is the best music in the game confirmed, by the way. So that is still... That's still... in a prism. Power is sealed. They turned off the skyway. This is 
is Al Gedi, the village of the Earthbound Ones. The Earthbound Ones lack magical powers, that's why we were banished from Zeal. Wanna buy something? I think now you can get... This is where you would normally get the Demon Edge. So... My weaponry has finally caught up. gets cut out because of the menu noises. And that's how it be. I'm just gonna buy stuff for characters I'm using. Uh, buy a helmet. Fine, we'll get you the arm. Robo want arm. Oreo and arm. So yeah, that legendary sword we spent all that time getting. You know, this village where people can't use magic, they have a better one. Aw. <laughs> oh, well. It was nice for a while. Blast fuck ass, my favorite weapon. The hero metal's also trash. Now the hero metal doesn't even work properly, no. Well, I'm using Luca at the moment, so I want to put on the dash ring. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace, and were never seen again. So yeah, the Queen just forced these people to build her shitty palace. The Queen put the Mammon Machine in the Ocean Palace to absorb Lavos's energy. Is that safe? She locked the Guru of Life up on the Mountain of Woe for opposing her. The situation's hopeless. The Guru of Life said that Sir Janus has stronger powers than even Miss Shala. Janice must be using her and the Queen to get to Lavos. Yeah, I'm beginning to think this Queen's a real jerk. I wonder when Miss Shala's gonna come and play with us. Now, only the three Gurus and Miss Shala treat us as equals. Chat, you can't fix her. The beast nest is dangerous. Better stay away, okay? And the night? No. Long ago, the enlightened ones and the earthbound ones lived as one. This hole leads to the beast's nest. Through the nest, you'll reach the place of chains, which anchors the mountain of woe. Our hero, the Guru of Life, rejected the Queen's plan, so he was banished to the Mountain of Woe. Whoa. I think I... I'm about to stop streaming, but... You know, I chose Luca here. 
There's one battle I want to do. I'll, I'll go a little extra late for Chrono Trigger. Speed Ayla need. You know what? More speed for Ayla. Good. song on the soundtrack do you like the least? Uh... Maybe that? It's fun. It's a fun song, but it's not like a classic. It's just... It's a good meme song. It works great for memes. So, it is classic in that case. But I'm not gonna put that song on if I'm just sitting around relaxing and I want to listen to the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Good item steals from those guys. I don't think Ayla has the ability to do that yet. I do remember these guys and then a couple other guys having really good steals on them. The items to steal, yeah. So, this safe hat is really amazing, but it also means that Chrono looks like this. The whole fight. So not only does he have a piss shield, but he's also in a weird pose. You can't pass through here. enemies have rare steals. They do. Yeah. I'm gonna fight this imp. Oh, wait, no, you can't kill the imp for a while, right? You have to kill the beasts first. can, but it just takes a while, I think. I, I, maybe he gets a little easier, or he's got low health? I forget what the deal is with this dude. Massive damage and this fucking thing is still alive. 
Does it bother you that there's an entire continent in this era that you never get to go to or see outside of the blurry map? Um... I mean... Yeah, because I love the world so much of Chrono Trigger, I would love to see more. But it doesn't... it doesn't kill me. That's the continent with the even better zeal music. Shit. I hear it in my dreams. And that's about it. If we had fire in this fight. If I left Luca, this might actually be easier, if you believe it. Shit. Still doing good damage, it's just gonna take a little bit longer. The triple tech would be amazing. If I use Ayla up here, we'll get the triple tech, definitely. This area I'm about to be at is the best place to farm for spells. The Mist Continent is where Chrono Cross happens. I mean, the, the sad thing is I don't even know if you're that far from the truth, because there is a, a mysterious continent that just is there. It's explained why it's there, but, like, if you fly around Chrono Trigger, you just don't see it. And all of Chrono Cross takes place on that continent. It's an artificial archipelago. Ah, Shadow Moses. Yeah, seriously, it is, yeah. There's reasons, though, there are reasons. And it makes sense once you play the game. When I say that Chrono Cross is convoluted... It, it's convoluted. Convoluted. But it does, if you really start to, like, analyze it, and you read up about it, and you look at the lore, and, and you know, spend some time trying to figure out the story, because it, you know, you gotta play through the game like three, four times. Otherwise, and, and then you'll still miss things if you play through it three, four times, and you, you make every attempt to understand what's going on. You're still gonna miss stuff. That just sounds like Stockholm Syndrome. I genuinely do think the game has some really interesting ideas, even if it doesn't stick the landing. And the ending can be very, very emotional if you let it, or you will laugh at it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was a kid when Chrono Cross came out. Not a kid, exactly. I was, you know, in my teens. So, I had plenty of time to play it. And I played it once, and then a couple years later I played it again, just to see if it was any good. It was pretty good. And then I played it for the stream at one point. I think maybe twice? I don't remember. But I probably finished that game a, a total of... This is where we're going, by the way, a floating mountain. But we're not doing this today. That's next time. But yeah, every time I played Chrono Cross, I liked it a little bit more and understood why it wasn't... When it came out, it got, like, perfect reviews. Like, magazines and websites were calling it, like, 10 out of 10, perfect, perfect, perfect. 
I happen to think it's not quite perfect. But it is good. All right, thank you, chat. Good night. Uh, real quick, thank you, mods. Thank you, chat members, for the support, for everything, for chilling out, hanging, um, watching me play RimWorld, helping me with RimWorld, for emotes, for suggestions, for everything. I appreciate it a ton. And I'm very happy to continue doing this, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to continue streaming. So thank you for being here. Genuinely. So good night. And I'll see you um, probably Sunday. Goodbye. And if you don't contribute, someone said I don't contribute shit, I just watch. That's a lot. That is a lot. Even if you sleep, I'm just happy you like what I do. Goodbye. See you next time.